Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Coding Demos. In this tutorial, you will learn how you can send an email using the Android Attempt. And you can do that from your physical device or the emulator. So by the end of this tutorial, you're going to have an app that looks like this. So here in the app, I have three edit text. Okay, first we have the uh, text view, three edit text, and a button. So the first edit text would be the email that you want to send this to. So this is the email. Then we have the subject of the email. And then we have the body of the email. So this, uh, this body edit text is actually a multi-line, which means that you can add multiple lines of text like this. Okay. Finally, you tap on the send button and it will direct you to the, the email application that is currently installed in your physical device or the emulator. So you can see here the title, sorry, the, uh, the two has already been populated with the email and as well as the title and the body. Okay, so let's open up Android Studio and let's build this. So here in the, inside this project here, we have these two files. We have the main activity. Java and the activity underscore main.xml file. Let's open up the XML file first. So what we have here is four, actually five views. The first one is the label, which has the contact form. This is it's a text view with a label that says contact form. Then we have these three edit text, and then we have a button. It's as simple as that. Then we'll go to the main activity or Java. And here I have already declared those views. I have referenced them based on their IDs. And I have set the uh, button on click listener so that when the user taps on the button, it will send the, uh, the attend or it will perform the action. So inside the on click method here, I first I'm checking if the user have successfully filled the email, the subject and the body. If they did, if they did, then we will proceed with sending the uh, the email. If they didn't, then I'm showing a simple toast message that says, "Please fill all the fields." So the the attempt email code will be added inside this part here. So first, we'll start with the attempt. We're going to give it attempt as the name, and then. We are going to set the action as you attend action action underscore send. So here I'm going to show you the differences between send and send to. So we'll start first with send, and then I'll tell you I'll show you another example using the send to, and what's the difference between the two. Okay, so we'll start with send. And then we're going to set the subject. So we're going to send the email to field, the subject and the body. And we'll do it like this. So it's attend dot put extra. And this would be attend dot extra email. And then here, make sure that whatever you put here must be an array because it doesn't accept a single field. It should be an array. So to do that, we're going to do new string, new string, and inside these curly uh, brackets, that's where we're going to call the email, the edit text, and we're going to pull all the, uh, the data from this edit text. And to do that, we'll do email, dot get text dot to string so we're done with the the email then we're going to do the same thing for the the subject so put extra and that will be a tent dot extra subject and the subject would be like i said i'm going to get the uh, whatever subject that the user have input inside the subject edit text and we'll do it like this. So it's subject dot get text dot to string. Uh, and we'll do the same thing for the body. So it's attempt 
dot put extra and that will be a tent dot extra text and here we're going to call body body dot get text dot to string all right so we have the email we have the email we have the subject and we have the text the next thing that we need to do is we need to set the type of this attempt which means that we need to narrow down the types of application that this attempt should support or in another way is we need only certain applications that we need that we want to see when we want to send this email we need to show specific email applications we don't want to show a list of all the applications that are currently installed in your device you only want to show applications that can perform the send email action and to do that we will do attempt dot set type and inside this uh, double quotes here I have the this message I can't really remember that so I'm just gonna copy that from my notepad here I'm going to paste that here so what this does is narrow down the types of applications that support the sending email action okay so we have set this then we need to check if there are any email application that can handle this action because if you don't do this checking your app will crash and to do that we will do attempt dot resolve activity okay first we'll check if attempt dot resolve activity and then we do get package manager is not equal to null so if if they are if the current device or the emulator has an application that can handle this type of attempt then proceed with that which we're going to call start activity and we're going to pass here the attempt if there are no application that support this action we're going to show a simple toast message let me just copy this and I'll change the message later on so we have the message here and the message is actually right here so there's no application that support this action I'm gonna copy this I'm going to paste it right here okay so here we're checking if there are if there are applications that are currently installed in your device or the emulator that supports this action then proceed with uh, proceed with starting the activity passing in the attempt otherwise show a toast message okay so this looks good let's give this a run let's see how it looks like in the emulator so click on the run button and let's wait for it to build all right so build is complete and we have the app here so i'm going to put in here the the email and we're going to call this let's say as a sample one by the way you can actually input multiple emails if you want to so here this is the first email and this is the second email this is the subject and this is the body and click on send so you can see here we have this uh, let's say we call it a chooser that asks you whether you want to proceed with with this action using the Gmail app or the Google Drive now the Gmail, Gmail app yes it makes sense because we're sending email but Google Drive and um, I don't think Google Drive is related to the type of action that we need to perform here so you can see that the reason Google Drive is showing up in the list here is because we're setting the the type as this and we're setting the action as send instead of send to never mind let's proceed with the gmail so we'll do just just now just once tap on that and it will open up the email so it has the two field so the two field is populated with two emails because they are just now we have separated them by a comma so they appear in, in two emails and we have the subject and we have the body next is we need to uh, change that we don't want to see the Google Drive as part of the applications that support this action. 
we need only email applications to show up in the list. So to do that, all you have to do is look into the intent here, this line. So change the action send to send to. So choose this and you need to remove this or let me just comment this out and we're going to say intent dot uh, set data that's the first thing the first thing we change the action to from send to send to and now we need to set the data so for the data we do going to do uri uri dot parse and here what we're going to pass is uh, mail to like this so when we send this action to send to and we set the data as mail to, this will show only the email applications that are currently installed in your device or the emulator to perform this type of action. Let me show you that. So let me just stop this. Let me run this again. All right, so bill is complete. Fill the same thing, test at yahoo.com. I'm gonna give another email gmail.com and that will be a test subject and test body and finally let me just hide this keyboard finally tap on the send so you can see that it immediately transferred you into the whatever email application that is currently installed in your physical device or the emulator so for this case in inside this emulator I have only a gmail app that's why it automatically opens up the Gmail app to proceed with this action. Now, if your device has multiple types of email application, then it will ask you which email application that you want to open this to proceed with this type of action. And here what we have is the same thing, the email, the to, and the subject, and the body here as well. Okay, so this is basically it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and happy coding.